What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Aaron Nix, it's the WrestleVlog YouTube channel and it's time for NXT, my favourite two hours of wrestling in just three minutes. How do you cram something as fun as that in three minutes? Let's find out, let's get a counter on the screen and let's get cracking. NXT opens with a fantastic women's match. Funny that, women's wrestling still really good. Pay attention Vince McMahon, you fucking cockwaffle. So Ray and Dakota Kai is an extremely competitive match but a big upset here of sorts is the fact that Dakota Kai actually hands Saray her first ever loss. Funny this, it was meant to be Ember Moon originally, apparently she's got an injury, hopefully she gets well soon. Either way, what you expected did happen, of course Raquel Gonzalez comes down, she chases off Dakota Kai and then she gets on the mic and basically threatens her and says, I'm going to dismantle you at TakeOver. Mwah. It's simple, it's effective, it's going to be an awesome women's title match and it's also great to see Dakota Kai in the spotlight a little bit more. I cannot believe Beth Phoenix is not here for this week's NXT and they air the first date of... <laughs> This is jokes, mate. The first date of Dexter, Loomis, and Indy Hartwell. And i got to say, this was actually phenomenally well done. By the way, I keep saying how The Way are by far and away one of the most underrated and entertaining factions in all of wrestling right now. And it was proven once again here. Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae being the insufferable parents trying to interfere on the first date. Johnny Gargano yelling at Dexter Loomis, you better have a home by 10 p.m. is absolute fucking comedy gold. Dexter Loomis doesn't utter an entire word the entire night. The date doesn't go off about a hitch, as you'd expect. There's shenanigans and all sorts, but it's just so well done. It's funny TV. By the way, all the people slagging this off in the social media and on the comments and the forums and everything, you're the same people who love Daniel Bryan and Kane doing exactly the same kind of shtick when they were going to therapy, and that stuff was gold too. Lighten up, for fuck's sake. Ilya Dragunov makes his long-awaited debut of sorts on NXT. Comes out looking rather dapper in his jumper. By the way, here's something you're not going to be able to unsee ever again. Why does Ilya Dragunov look like one of the aliens from Mars Attacks? Gigi Dolan, I don't believe this is her debut, but this is the first time I've seen her in a kind of mainstream environment, and she wrestles some randomer, no idea who she was, she wrestled quite well to be fair, um, but Gigi Dolan, holy cow, is she smoking hot, so is the young lady that was with her, and so is Mandy Ross, I'm sorry, you can't put all three of these women on screen at the same time. Hello, Sherry. Où est mes again? Is it fate? Is it meant to be? Is it written in the stars that we are destined to fraternize? I'd like to think so. Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly do exactly what they do best, which is give me a massive erection as they go back and forth on the mic. Jesus Christ! What? What is He's it? got an erection! Odyssey Jones absolutely murders Trey Baxter, as you kind of would expect, on his way to the final of the breakout tournament. By the way, Odyssey Jones, he's 400 plus pounds and he's six foot five and he's African American. <laughs> Cornucopia of suit you, sir. Oh, oh suit you, sir. Oh, oh. Now, sir, single or double breasted? Oh. In your main event, Ilya Dragunov versus Pete Dunne. Okay, this match pretty much sold half of Wembley Arena out on this premise for progress. Here it is, for free, as the main event of TV. But of course, everybody's too busy masturbating in their mother's basements to pay attention to some of the best wrestling in the world. And what was this? Oh, some of the best wrestling in the world. Incredible main event, balls to the wall, physical, vicious, violent. What a magnificent entree. The world's greatest ever appetizer to what will be one of the great all-time wrestling matches, period, of the modern era when Volta faces Ilya Dragunov for the NXT UK Championship at NXT TakeOver 36, which by the way is so stacked that honestly, did I mention the aforementioned erection? Stop. My penis can only get so erect. Pete Dunne beats Ilya Dragunov, but only because Volta of course comes down and causes a massive distraction, and then as a somewhat payback for his shenanigans, boom! Torpedo Moscow, Volta gets taken out, and Ilya Dragunov closes the show holding the NXT UK Championship. And with the buzzer, that brings to an end our brief flirtation with a magnificent NXT. I love this. Balls to the wall, excellent. There, there were so many little vignettes that I couldn't really cover in the three minutes, which were great as well. I loved Hit Row's little promo where they threw the luchador mask into the fiery bin i love the kind of presence of that i love the aura of it just the whole thing was so smooth and we're hearing a lot of dysfunction and issues we don't know whether that might be melts are just stirring apart we don't know if fightful are just talking out of their big fat assholes once again shout out to sean ross sat for still not blocking me on social media what the fuck man i asked you to block me stop being a whiny bitch and just block me idiot 
But ultimately, I thought NXT was actually quite phenomenal. I really did. This is definitely my favorite two hours of the week. Now, obviously, it's catered towards me and it's subjective. But if you want great hard-hitting wrestling, but you also want the kind of comedy stuff as well, and a world-class women's division, which is really important to me, then this is the show for you. But hey, the great thing about it being on Tuesdays is you can still watch Dynamite, you can still watch Raw. God knows why you do that. And you can also watch SmackDown and everything else that you want. You know, it's day after day after day. It's very exhausting, but at least the option's there. So stop being whiny bitches. Watch the things that you enjoy. And let me have my Samoa Joe versus Karrion Cross Erection, which, by the way, they hyped up that as well. And, again, did I mention the Erection? I've been Aaron X. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it enough to give us a subscription because that will be awesome. We're almost at 400 and when we do, I promise we will be giving away some PENG merchandise. Until then, I'll catch you very soon for more content from the WrestlePlug.